The ultimate goal in bringing these cases is to really affect systemic change, to change the way that social workers approach child abuse investigations, to change the way that counties approach their obligation to protect vulnerable children. And ultimately, you know, a lot of my teenage clients, when I come to them and, and announce that uh, I'm their lawyer and there's going to be a lawsuit on their behalf, there's a question of, okay, but I don't really understand how getting money at the end of the day is going to fix the abuse that I've suffered or how it's going to help me. And that's a valid point. If you've been sexually abused for years, money doesn't make up for that. But what I always explain to them is it does not justify what happened to you. It's not going to make what happened to you better, but it can prevent it from happening to another child. And the ultimate goal is to make it more expensive for these counties to do things wrong than to do it right. You know, if they're defense is we don't have enough social workers, we don't have enough time, um, then you need to hire more social workers. And uh, if you don't, if you keep, you know, cutting costs in that way, uh, it's, it's going to be more expensive for you to do it wrong by way of these lawsuits. So the goal is for them to understand that if they don't put the children first, there's going to be consequences.